Located northeast of Elliott Lake, Ontario, the Mississauga region is a rugged landscape of hills, ridges, cliffs, and sparkling lakes, ideal for a backcountry escape. Starting at Marsh Lake, we would paddle west through the little used Summers Lake route. After a night on Gusty Lake, we would traverse a series of lost portages in an attempt to connect Summers Lake to the more established Flack Mace Lake canoe route. Paddling counterclockwise, we would pass through a chain of lakes, camping on the shores of scenic Flack Lake under the shadow of Old Baldy. We would complete the figure eight route by attempting to connect Dunlop to Marsh Lake by another lost portage. from Marsh to Gusty Lakes was surprisingly easy, but we still had to face the unknown of a lengthy portage that had likely fallen into disuse with the advancement of the Dunlop Lake Road. As part of the Lost Canoe Route Initiative, our goal was to clear the trails from Deadfall and document the lost side routes. We had our work cut out for us, and it was quickly evident the trails see little use. So we just come across the 800 meter portage to go into Dunlop Lake and even though it wasn't marked on our maps there's one of those old metal portage signs and it's quite wide and clear it looks like it's trodden by sleds during the winter time so besides one little blowdown that Andrew just saw through there it should be pretty easy going hopefully and in a couple minutes we'll be on the shores of Dunlop Lake. <laughs> So I guess this is why this is a lost canoe route. We've come down from a little swampy lake and there was a really good, well-worn portage trail. And it's taken us out to the road here beside the Dunlop Lake cottage development. And unfortunately for us, the portage trail ends at a cottage lot. Um, so I was looking at the sat maps before in the GPS and it looks like the road about 300 meters further down goes right to the edge of the lake. So we're going to trek a little longer. It makes us a little longer portage, but if it gets us to the lake, it gets us to the lake. It should only be about 200 meters or 300 meters and we should get to a curve. And it should take us right to the water. So that's positive. Okay, so you don't have to do what we did when you're coming off the Dunlop Lake Road to Dunlop Lake. We kind of cliff whacked down a steep section of slippery rocks, but managed to make it through. Uh, and just like 10 meters down the road, there's a nice flat boat launch that we seemingly didn't see. <laughs> That's the easiest option. So that portage from the Gusty Lake system, it's quite viable and it's not as hard as what we faced. <laughs> Perfect day out here. Making our way north towards Flack Lake, and the scenery is just amazing. We just came from Kowloon, and like, so that portage into that lake was fairly steep. Actually, that goes into a small little lake before that, and then there's a little lift over. One nice campsite on Kowloon Lake. And then from there, there's a very steep portage. Pretty straightforward, steep section though. Other than that, pretty nice.
So one of the cool things about the Mississauga region is that there is a couple of cool trails scattered here and there. So you just don't have to paddle around all the time. You can stop and base camp for a bit. And right now we're on Flack Lake and behind us here is the trailhead to Old Baldy. And it's a hike of about five kilometer loop trip that'll take us up to a high cliff face with apparently some stunning views over the surrounding lakes. <laughs> sunlight and it's a warm day and it's not really well maintained apparently so we'll see how it goes. So we're at the top of Old Baldy and the view up here is just absolutely gorgeous. The trail is a little rough, but the views up here are worth it. After descending Old Baldy, we turn south with our eyes set on Upper Mace Lake. Trails were in good shape, but still littered with blowdowns. It seemed pretty evident that even the moderately used section saw few paddlers. There's a Ishmus on Astonish Lake just by the E between the BT, that point right there. There's a nice campsite. hot sunny day out here and we're just making our way down into aptly named lily pad lake it doesn't look much of a lake in front of us but more of a meandering creek uh, we just went through a gorgeous upper mace lake uh, and it was absolutely spectacular with all the rocky islands we're actually portaging along some huge exposed rock faces So we've been treated to a bunch of wonderful sights today and hopefully the remaining uh, little bit of our paddle is straightforward. Hopefully the water levels keep up. So we finally ran out of water going down Lily Pad Lake. Unfortunately now we got a bit of a low water channel. And uh, we're going to be lining the canoe a bit, but we can see open water of Lower Mace Lake out there. So if it's a bit of a slog, it's going to be a short slog. And it's been a great day so far. We've been moving pretty quickly. So this will be a small little obstacle to get through.
Under a cloudless sky, we headed east to Dunlop Lake. One final unknown, a lengthy lost portage, still awaited. It was the last of the trip, but we had a feeling it would be rough. So we've left Dunlop Lake behind and we've gone out to a small sort of marshy lake. There's a nice little easy 100 meter portage. Our car is just a few hundred meters over that way, but unfortunately for us, there's a beaver dam that's let go and this lake behind me here has dropped down about two to three feet. So this could be one hell of a swamp slog to get through here. We're literally paddling chocolate milk. Maybe we should have portaged along the shore. So we're making our way through this dried up lake. You might be able to punch through in the spring, but it's August, it's low water levels, there's a dam burst out there. But thankfully it's pretty straight going. Um, we're not sinking down at all. We're on a nice bed of sphagnum and we can see the road just up there, which is gonna take us to our cars. At this point, I don't think we're gonna go further up the creek. It adds a little extra two kilometers. I think the best bet is to just portage along the road because if the creek's dry here, it's probably gonna be dry up there too. What do you, what do you think about swamp walking? Different. Watch every step. Thank <laughs> you.